Tears for the tear god, salt for the salt throne, and gas the leaf tribe. Freedom Convoy 2020. I'd love to see it. After 10 days of protests in Ottawa, uh, the meme of Clown World has become so real, Ottawa had to outlaw honking. And now we're just waiting on the false flag to, you know, so we can watch it all end bloody. Police attempts at intimidation arrests, outright robbery of people's fuel under the guise of a em state of emergency in Ottawa uh, have not garnered the response necessary to engage far more physically, you know, violently. Um, and the Smollett's have not garnered the attention necessary. A Smollett is different from a false flag in that a false flag is an action taken directly by the government on behalf of the government to make the opposition look worse than it is and then act on that appearance vis-a-vis -vis justifying violence against them. Uh, a Smollett is when some asshole does it. <laughs> Uh, you can usually tell a Smollett because while the stories are incredibly well detailed, they also, under any scrutiny, stop making sense at all. If you haven't heard about the attempted arson of an Ottawa apartment building, I suggest you look into it because, man, that story is fucking stupid. A couple of guys go into an apartment building and then tape the doors closed with packing tape and that may sound silly but a couple wraps of packing tape can actually be kind of a pain in the ass to undo from the wrong side if you can't actually cut the tape they have a couple of fire starter bricks and matches and here's where it gets really really stupid some tenant apparently walks in on them from where not from the front door that was taped shut uh and sees them starting to light these fire starter bricks. And the tenant doesn't say, Hey, what are you doing? Stop that. I'm calling the police. What the tenant says is, Who are you? To which one of them responds, apparently, I'm with the convoy. <laughs> it gets stupider. The tenant then <clears throat> gets in the elevator supposedly to just go home to his apartment. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So... Here's my prediction. Uh, you may take some comfort in knowing that all of my previous predictions of positive outcomes have always been wrong. So maybe that track record will extend to my prediction of negative outcomes. But I doubt it. There will be a major false flag. Okay. Out of nowhere we will see a sudden eruption of violence, supposedly, from the convoy. The convoy that's been dancing in the streets for 11 days, uh, during which time there's been not a single death or injury, will suddenly be some terrible, terrible event in which at least the life of one officer is lost. Then we'll see the police strike back. And it will be horrifying. Because that's what they have to do now. They don't have a choice. Uh, this is where we are. And enough people have been media primed that they will accept this. right? And the media priming didn't just begin with, oh, declaring a state of emergency in Ottawa. It didn't 
begin with Trudeau even just a couple of years ago, starting with if you don't get vaccinated, you know, that you're you're a terrible person, right? You're putting the unvaccinated, and now, now you're racist, anti-science bigots. Uh, it started years and years ago, right? To the point that people go out to counter-protest, this protest in favor of freedom, saying... This isn't about freedom. This is about white supremacy. And they say it with a straight face because they believe it. Are polls shifting? In it? Sure. That's why the false flag has to happen now. So that they can continue forward with still having enough people convinced that whatever thing happens, it absolutely definitely was the racist, misogynist homophobes that are hiding behind the guise of freedom. See, then they'll be able to label the entire convoy terrorists. And some of the good people of Ottawa have already done so. Suggesting that incessant honking is in fact terrorism. And again, the media priming. Uh, why wouldn't they be accepted as terrorists? Haven't you heard the rumor on the legacy media that after 11 days of partying in the streets... Now there's a shipment of weapons on its way to the convoy? Huh. <clears throat> Best part of that is, after the fact, anyone seen to have been in support of the convoy, maybe you donated money, maybe you went on the internet and said shit, <clears throat> anyone who is against the government and the mandates can be labeled a terrorist sympathizer. Yeah. That's where we are. Uh, like, hey, I'm glad that people are doing this, that they're, they're out there and resisting the tyranny, but guys... It, it's too late. It was too late like two years ago. You missed it. It happened in front of you and you missed it. Sorry. Now we're all going to get gulagged. Because we, we voted for Maxime Bernier. Oh, and uh, whoever did this. Fucking beautiful. That's just magic. I love that. Uh Cheers to you, whoever you are, you beautiful soul. I thought it was finished. While I was putting this together, I found out that apparently the Fed is sending a negotiator to meet with the trucker convoy tomorrow, Tuesday, February the 8th, 2022. I don't think Justin Trudeau's eagle, ego can actually handle that, and I don't think they're sending a negotiator to meet with the trucker convoy, I think they're sending a lamb to meet with a false flag slaughter. It's already after midnight. It is the 8th. So, this is a really, really tight prediction. Oof. See you in the blue legs. Relevant links to shit I said in the description? Maybe. I'm Irving Twin. Like, subscribe, or don't. It's a free country. At least it used to be.